guys, it's Lauren here and I want to welcome you to the first of a multiple video series that I'm going to be doing on braids. I absolutely love braids because there's so many different things you can do with them and so many different ways to wear them. Um, this is kind of my go-to style because whenever I like, don't know what to do with my hair, I just put some kind of crazy braid in it and I get tons of compliments and it's just so much fun to wear. So I'm really excited about this series so I hope that you'll join me by subscribing to my YouTube channel and also sharing with your friends. Um, so over the next few weeks, I'll post a new video every couple of days, um, and it's going to go over braid technique, um, different types of braids, and kind of different styles and different ways that you can wear these braids. So um, thank you so much for watching, and today I'm going to show you how to do the basic French braid, and I'm going to show you by teaching you how to French braid your bangs. Um, this is a little bit tricky sometimes because you're kind of orienting the braid to the side, so um, it's kind of a different hand placement. But I'm going to show you how to do it nice and easy so you're going to have no problems with it. So if you're excited to learn how to French braid your bangs, keep watching and I'll break it down for you. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is section out my bangs. And if I don't have bangs, no problem. I'm just going to take a small, about one and a half inch section of hair near my forehead where my bangs would be. Okay, now once I've done that, I'll just uh, pin the rest of my hair back just so I'm not pulling um, unwanted hairs into the braids. Alright, so now I'm going to take a section from one side and separate it into three parts. Okay, then I'm going to continue by just doing a normal braid. So I'm going to cross the outer over the middle, outer over the middle. Okay, once I'm here, I'm going to start adding hair into the braid. So I'm going to start by adding um, a section closest to my face. So I'm going to take a small amount of hair from my forehead, move it to the center, and add that to the strand. Alright, so then I'm going to place this strand over the center. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side now. So I'm going to move from a small section of hair from the center to the part that we created. And separate that. Okay, then I'm going to move this part over the center. Okay, now back to this side. So take a small section of hair, add it to that strand, put it over the center. Now we're at this side. So I'm going to continue with the same technique until I'm, I reach the end of my bangs. As I'm nearing toward the end of my bangs, I want to make sure that I'm orienting the braid more toward the back of my hair than toward the front, because otherwise you'll get a little bit of sagginess here. So I'm going to make sure I orient it to the back. Okay, so once I reach the end of my section that I sectioned out right in the beginning, I can either stop the braid here or continue all the way down so that a braid kind of hangs near the side of your face and flows into the hair. Um, I'm just going to stop it here, and I'm going to bobby pin it. So I'll finish with a small braid just so it's nice and secure. And um, if you have problems um, securing bobby pins, this is where you're going to want to pay attention because I'm going to show you how to secure it nice and tight so that it lasts all day. Okay, so I'm going to take one bobby pin, and cross this hair so that it's diagonal. Then I'm going to take my second bobby pin and go the opposite way that I put the first one in, so I'm going to have a crisscross like that. Okay, and that's going to ensure maximum hold there. See, it's not going anywhere. Okay, so then once I'm done with that, I'll just take down the rest of my hair and situate it so that we can hide those bobby pins. And 
And then this is where you would want to part your hair. So if you have a natural part that goes to the right, which is what I have, I would just kind of um, move it along like that. And once you've done that, the style is complete. And it should look something like this. Alright you guys, well I hope you had fun learning how to French braid your bangs. Um, I absolutely love this style and I hope that you guys do too. And I also want you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel because like I said before, I'm doing um, a multiple video series on all different types of braids. So I'm going to teach you definitely the basic techniques and also the different types of braids and also how to style your hair with these different types of braids. So um, keep watching and make sure and like my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash hairstyles by Lauren Hall. And also, if you guys are able to recreate any of these styles, please send them in to me because I'd love to see how they look on you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.